Okay. Okay. We're still in it. You want to make a Twitch bot with me? Let's make a Twitch bot together. And now we're going to start referring to my other bot, which also uses the same thing. So we're going to borrow some things from here. Classic thing to do when you're programming, just find something, just find an instance where you could make it work and copy that. So the message dot search, dunno. Okay, so the, we're doing, we're using the dot search method. That's something, that is something that is specific to JavaScript as a whole. So we're gonna do, so we're just gonna see if, wait, what is happening now? Unexpected token, what did I break? If message dot search. So what this means is if, message the message and then you search the message for and then in quotes hello because if you if it's not within quotes then it's an object or it's more of a more nebulous to, to describe to to the server like this we're saying very specifically it is the following set of characters so now if i just say anything that has the word if anyone says anything that has the word hello in it it'll say hey yeah there we go sweet so now we can start iterating on this right I'm saying it really whips the llama's ass. Okay, let's do that. Good idea. I love that. So, so we don't need this part of it anymore. We just might say tags, username. Don't need any of that. And then we're going to just following the template because it works. We copied the template. It still works. We're gonna try and disturb it as little bit as possible. Got to keep in mind the important thing when you're when you're making when you're pushing and pulling on code that you don't understand is that you maintain the the bracketing. And if you remove certain parts that the brackets and quotation marks that they still line up because that's how everything ends up breaking. That's how you end up spending hours and hours and hours doing absolutely nothing. All right, there we go. Well, that didn't work at all. Kicks. That's not how you spell that. Wait, why is it doing that? Why does it keep doing both? Oh, right, because it's doing that, and then, oh, okay. We're just gonna tell it to do nothing. Instead of, instead of letting it keep screwing up here. So this is kind of just a quick way to prevent it from, from bugging out and keeping it all contained. Then we'll do nothing. Just to kind of catch all of that. I need to handle the result from the search correctly. Initials right, because it just does both now. Now, how did I do it correctly before? We did it correctly before by doing this. We're just gonna copy that and that should work now. And that is the secret to being a good programmer is you go back and look at the times that you did do it right. If you can do it right once, you can do it right again. And you just gotta look at the example where you could do it right and do it again. But now if we do Winamp, it really kicks the llama's ass. All right, so it works. Nice and simple. So here's, here's the thing. We can do so many things with this. Let's do a little bit of exploring, right? Here are all the things that we can interact with when someone sends a message. These are all the these are all the things we can do. We got chat, received a message on channel. What's the difference between chat and message? Message and chat. Received a chat on channel. Okay, so this is this is maybe a little bit cleaner. Maybe you want to do a client on chat for all of this stuff. So what we're seeing here is on message and then we're asking for information about it, right? So we need to actually ask for all this. So we need to add user state to this. So now we should also be able to access things in the user state to check for things. Maybe we should do something else that uses user state. We're gonna use the user state to, 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 to make a, a distinction between events firing for and not for things. Subscriber. Okay, so, 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 if message dot search, wait, no, 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 we're going to do it. We're going to do it. message dot, if message dot user state equals true, right? But we're going to have to put that in brackets because we're not an idiot. And when you ask an if question, you always have to put it in brackets. Is true, and that, else, we're just gonna be a waste of space. There we go. If message dot user state equal uh, user state dot dot subscriber, right? Okay, client 
dot say look at oh look client dot say hang on there's we're gonna we're gonna follow the template so channel for whatever reason even though I don't really understand why we're going to just follow the template channel and then we're gonna use these quotation marks we're gonna pay careful attention to the template and to the to the pattern just follow it and it's going to be this guy with the sub he gets it and every time someone anytime anyone with a subscription nope that's not it okay message.search is not a function why not what happened who hurt you it's all broken which you just did message, use it. message type. Okay, so we're gonna copy this. We're just gonna copy this. We're just gonna copy, copy we're just gonna copy it. We're just gonna copy it because this works. Um, a client on message channel, user state message self, blah, 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 blah. I think I can just do this, right? Because it turns out it's a little bit more complicated than I thought. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, it's still crashing? Is it just crashing on everyone's messages? Okay, so we've broken we've broken the whole thing. Obviously. Kinda comment this out real quick. We're gonna we're gonna do some repairs. We're gonna do some repairs. Let's just bring it back to a point where it worked. It was right when we did Winamp. That's why, because user state was being called. Okay. User state is what's breaking everything. It's not interested in that. Yep, that's working again. Cool. Now let's see what happens when we do this. Hopefully it still works. Yep, still works. So we're gonna ask case, let's see, user state message type. So we're gonna do user state, right? We're gonna get the user state. These are all the user states. And if the user state is subscriber. I'm gonna get rid of these, right? Cause that's the same pattern. So we just deleted the, the right section in case true. We're gonna do client say. Maybe this will work. I certainly hope it does. If the code that we just copy pasted works and like kind of modified a little bit. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> Look at that, that's amazing. That's, that's fantastic, it worked. Now every time anyone that's subscribed says anything, Virtual Elephant's gonna say, look at this guy with the sub. Okay, but how about, how about this? What if we do false and then like, sub to casual elephant if you want. <laughs> See, this is why we do it. This is why we do it. Anyone who is not subscribed will now be, um, I guess I wouldn't say passive. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's too good. That's too good. See, that's how you get people to subscribe. Excellent. Okay, so now, now we have a template for doing things if people are subscribers. And we can, we can do this for a lot of things. For a lot of different cases. Okay, now I need more ideas, because there's lots of things we can do now. There's lots of things we can do. Try making a dice roller. There we go. Roll 2d6. Okay. Great idea, that's a great idea for an example. So we're gonna copy this, we're just gonna copy this. We just have a chunk of code, that works. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna change out the parts that matter. We're gonna do if message dot to lowercase, we're gonna make it to lowercase again. To dice. This gonna roll some dice. So let's make sure that still works, that we didn't break anything. Oh, something broke there. Huh, what did I do that broke it? This is gonna roll some dice. If message to lowercase. Let's refer back to the example because we did something wrong. If message to lowercase equals equals equals. Right, I'm being, I'm being dumb. Cause this is, we're not, we're not checking. We're not checking for, we're doing something else. We're not checking for a true or false anymore. So that little bit of code here is to check if it's true or false in, in this context. But otherwise we don't need these lowercase and because it's it's doing something we need to put the brackets behind it then we need to make sure that we maintain our bracketing correctly nope 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 because we're still asking it if we're cutting it off too soon we need to move it over here now we're good now we're good okay now it'll work now that we're not looking like complete idiots okay so now we have the dice command this gonna roll some dice if message equals dice okay so 
This is gonna roll some dice. So let's start, let's start working on this. We're gonna say let D1 equal job. Okay, so now we're gonna do, because we're idiots, we're gonna, we're gonna Google it. We're just gonna Google it. How do I generate a random number? Let's see, W3 Schools. This is the best website for finding examples of things that you're trying to do. Uh, math out random, try it yourself. Try it, random. Random, 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 random. But how do we make it between certain numbers? Between one and 10, right? There we go. Math floor plus one. Okay, so this is the code that we want. This is the bit of, this is the bit of code and we can just copy it right on over. We can just copy it over. Uh, there we go. One and six, right? Let D1, math.floor, math random between one and six. And then we'll do D2 is between one and six. So then we'll do let result equals D1 plus D2, right? So we add the two D6s up. And then we'll just take this bit of code again. Clients say result. Small head. <laughs> All right, here we go. So now maybe, maybe this will work. Dice. It did not work. What went wrong? That should work, right? Unless it's not the right format. So this might need to be inside something like this. Cause look at this, look at this, right? We got something that's not just straight up what it's supposed to be, right? And we have this there's a weird business in here. So we're just gonna try copying this and we're gonna put that right here. And instead of that, we're gonna do result. And then we're gonna put that in between the quotes again, like it wants to be according to the template. Cause we just adhere to the template. Maybe this will work. Um, <laughs> dice. Hey, look, it, it, it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked. I don't need the at. Okay. And nine, okay, it works. It works. This is gonna roll some dice.